tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 55. yet but we have made it through together and now the eyes of the sporting world fall on us here tonight as it is the night we crown a champion and all of us here at EA Sports so proud to bring you Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa and it's a matchup full of intrigue tonight it's all on the line we play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the champions from the NFC, the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, I don't think too many folks around the NFL saw this one coming. This is a Jacksonville team that's had a lot of forgettable seasons really since their arrival in the league. But now here they are making their first appearance on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, you're exactly right. They were close a few years ago, losing the AFC Championship game in New England. And early in their tenure, they got to an AFC Championship game. But you're right about the number of forgettable seasons. Here they are, one of four teams coming into this year. The Browns, the Texans, and the Lions, the other three, that had never played in a Super Bowl. They've taken care of that now. And now they want to win this one. Meanwhile, it wasn't too long ago that the Atlanta Falcons were in the Super Bowl, and that's one that Falcon fans want to forget, 2017 Super Bowl 51. But now they're back in the big game for the third time in franchise history. Well, it's been a trying year for everybody, but the tradition continues. Super Bowl 55, away we go from Tampa. Taken in the end zone. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. And his arm strength is often described as out of this world, and I've seen some throws out of him that are just really awful the charts and sometimes he relied on his arm so much his footwork got in the way led to some inconsistency but I've loved watching him evolve as a quarterback he gets better and better each year and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down first and 10 at the 36 yard line throwing a Stafford complete the tight end Kelsey and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Falcons. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Ten more yards. Any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far with that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers you're exactly right it could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage Stafford on first down this is Chenault on the receiving end He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. LaVisca Chenault, a six-yard pickup, brings up second and four. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, connection made with Chenault. LaVisca. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now first and 10 at the 11. First and 10 at the 11-yard From the gun, here's Stafford. 
toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, but it'll be second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Stafford now to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So that one along 11 play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Young way following the touchdown. Here's Koo to kick off. Now D.D. Westbrook to return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, He's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering some I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. At the 28-yard line. That's going to set him back five yards. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. No gain on the play. Brings up third and 13. Murray with a third and long. And that will be incomplete. Intended for Hunter Renfro. Incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, Joseph Charlton on to punt. The 
It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Now this offense about ready to take over again. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why, why I wouldn't change that? it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. Three brings up second and seven. They go with Chubb on second down, and he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Anthony Barr brought him down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and three. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Nick Chubb, the ball carrier. Anthony Barr brought him down. Cardinal, when you're not able to run the ball successfully, it really messes everything up for an offense because no longer are you setting the tone and dictating the game. If you do want to throw the ball, play action's kind of gone out the window because they don't respect the run. And last but not least, you don't get to dictate it all when you want to throw the football. And that really hurts you as an offense. Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep for the Jags, D.D. Westbrook. Shoves him aside. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. The ball carrier, Caleb on. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. That's the end of the first quarter with the score Falcons seven, Jaguars nothing. Second and six. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. That's caught by Howard, and he'll get to the 29-yard line. Brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. First and ten at the 29-yard line. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Down they go right back to Hunt. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it? Three plays, three first downs. Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. Murray's pass. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. Five brings up second and five at the 39-yard line. Now Hunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 29-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Now that's a quarterback who's in charge out there right now. 
wants to throw the ball on third down, doesn't find anyone open, tucks it away, takes off, and picks up the first down, not by a little, but by plenty. It's a jet sweep. This is Renfro. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Over the middle. It's incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard. And that takes us from second to third down. Brings up third down to throw. It's Murray. A uh, throw for Westbrook, but it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so someone well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Second and on second and nine, Stafford. This is Hamler on the receiving end. Stafford's bad. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's going to rifle one deep left. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big gain of 38 there on third down. And that was a high degree of difficulty on that one. But to me, it goes back to fundamentals and determination. High point the football and declare it yours. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll try the draw now with Chubb. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard gain brings up second and nine. And back to the ground, this time with Ingram. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead moves to 10 Zim. Makes the score. Falcons 10. Jaguars nothing. 
These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want here? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards, a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. It's now second and ten. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will extend their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive for four plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. Interesting stat line right now. Technically, he's completed four passes, two to his team and then two to the wrong team. It makes you wonder what he's seeing downfield because he has completed two passes to his own team, but the interceptions are troubling. Is he going through the wrong reads, the wrong progressions? Is he getting fooled by deep pressure brought in? And the Falcons get there for the sack. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Here's Joseph Charlton now. 
As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. He's thrown for a touchdown pass, and he's run for one so far. When you're able to watch a guy perform at a high level and do it in multiple ways, yeah, arm, legs, he really helps his team in a big way. You've got to think that they feel great about where they are in this ball game, and they feel even better about him leading their team. Now he's hoping to put them into a better spot after this drive. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Operating from the gun, Stafford. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And now it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On first and ten, Stafford. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Stafford's back. Working with his second and four. So we've reached halftime here in Super Bowl 55. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle, and we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big. You're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. <laughs> On the run, this is Hunt. It was Jacob Phillips who was able to bring him down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. 
On second down, here's Murray. And that is incomplete here. Murray's bad. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third down and nine yards to go. To throw is Murray. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. This is Ingram on first and 10. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. From the gun, Stafford. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Stafford's pass. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Open man, it's Rager, he's got it. Touchdown, Falcons! Jalen Rager, 63 yards, and the Falcons will add on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat, and I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine, from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh -oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And the lead is now 24. Just a four-play drive that time. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. With another return now, here's Westbrook. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. E. Westbrook on the return. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. The pro bowler, Chris Harris, is in on the tackle. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Murray. 
And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give him five on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. And do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if we can drive the bus here again on this drive. Brings up second and On second down at four. Stafford. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Now a stoppage, and oh, we've got Chubb shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They run. It's Mark Ingram. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Mark Ingram, the ball carrier. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's... And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Almost of eight yards. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Falcons on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and 15. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy, the other team's going to be unhappy. So I, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. At the two-yard line. They'll run again with Hunt. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Tristan Hill brought him down. It's a gain of four. The Jaguars on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and six. 
Murray now to throw. He's got his man, Boyd. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Operating from the gun, Murray. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Renfro, incomplete. Chris Harris on the coverage. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Caleb on chase on. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Third and long, Murray. And that is incomplete. Too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. again a first down carry on the stop there defensively Marcus May with the tackle the run only got a yard here's second and nine one yard gain brings up second and nine. on second down here's a keeper by the QB they get six that'll leave them with third and four the tackle made at the 36 yard line the Falcons on third down they've hit four of seven this is third and four from the gun, Stafford, solid coverage on the play by Devondre Campbell. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And no return here from Westbrook. This will be a touchback. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set to go again. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. Murray now on first down. That one is caught by Hunt. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you. 
leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. That's a gain of eight. Makes it third and three. Operating from the gun, Murray. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Murray and company going for it on fourth. Slant pass to Boyd. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and ten at the 40. Now whistles line. here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. And that'll set them back five. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Throwing again, Murray. And he completes it to Hunt. And he'll be out of bounds after his short pickup as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, that's caught by Howard. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. Open man is Howard, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Murray to air it out again. And he finds Howard complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second and 13. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The Jaguars is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And the throw there going to be incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now, to put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And it's over. The Lombardi Trophy belongs to the Falcons. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons are the Super Bowl champions. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.
And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.